It's like you have to avoid certain things as a bald guy. Okay, if you're a bald white guy, easy. Bald black guy, very cool. Bald white guy, is he racist? You have to avoid certain things. Bald white guy, you can't wear Doc Martens. Sorry, it's out of the question for you. You can't do that. Okay, enough with the bad takes. Uh, I said, don't derail, okay? Boys, welcome back to Mogul Mail. We got a one take this one, but I think we can do it because it's very similar to the last video I made. The last one was about YouTube perhaps being racist or expressing some favoritism uh, based off a video that Corey Kenshin made. This one, similar but flip side of the coin, it's from Jideon, and it's about Twitch perhaps being sexist or showing some favoritism. Uh, now, what is the scoop for this? We got to go back to what kind of started me making all these drama, YouTube, Twitch, heavy base mogul males a while back, the Jideon Pokimane thing. If you remember from that, it was, it was Jideon. Uh, he got banned on Twitch after sending a hate raid to Pokey. He basically saw that Pokey was live while he was live on Twitch. Said, yo, go spam L plus ratio in your chat and, and mess up her day. And people did. And then got a little bit more aggressive because if you if you give a little bit of leash, your viewers will take twice, three times as many. So a lot of people are, you know, calling her a bitch, whatever. A lot of mean shit. Uh, enough to make her end stream. Uh, and then shortly after that, Jideon got banned. Pretty straightforward ban. All right. You know, you do a hate raid, you're going to get banned. What was the problem was the aftermath of that. So the aftermath, Jideon went on a, on a huge uh, rant on Twitter, changed his profile picture to Pokemon without the makeup. It's it tweeted like hashtag free Jideon. And, and Twitter was very, very uh, mean to Pokey after that. Because it was like, oh, this is all Pokey's fault. Po Pokey did all this. Uh, and and it, it didn't get resolved for a couple of weeks um, until Jideon eventually met Pokey in person and they made a video together uh, making up, which is one of his most viewed videos on his channel. It has almost 10 million views pushing people with Pokimane. They are now they are now on good terms. They are friends. I talked to Jideon through that. I made a bunch of videos about it and it was all done. Except for one thing. He never got unbanned. They never unbanned him for his hate raid. They never unbanned him for the actions he took afterwards. It was an indefinite ban that quickly became a perma ban. Uh and there what? Um Sean and Hassan walk into a bar five minutes later, Ludwig comes running in. So is Hassan dick riding Ludwig? I mean, I'm probably gonna disagree with him because I think he is a scorned ex girlfriend, even though he's not really scorned. He got the bag, you know? If he agrees with like I mean depending on what level of agreement he has with Judean's video, because there are parts of Judean's video that I watched yesterday and reacted to where uh, you know, I said that there is some truth. I do think that Jideon should have been unbanned after, especially like after he uh, made up with Pokimane. Um, I also do believe that platforms don't know how to deal with black content creators and, and even their haters, which are, you know, sometimes extra fucking insane. Uh, I, I did talk about that and it's just not, it's not just the Twitch, it's YouTube, YouTube and Twitch. Certainly. Okay. Um, do I think that uh, I also said, and this is a conversation I have with Ludwig on my podcast as well, for the record, um, about how I think black prank, uh, black pranksters and black content creators in general have extra scrutiny from being black. They are perceived in a different way than white content creators uh, are perceived. Okay. Anyway, let's see. There's a few outcries uh, that he would, you know, occasionally be like, hey, wh what's going on? Please unban me here. And, and radio silence from Twitch until yesterday. Uh, and Jideon went on Twitch. No fucking way he doesn't mention the EU, TwitchCon EU, though. Come on. No fucking way he doesn't Twitter, mention Twitter. And he started tweeting out uh, a bunch of things uh, because of a clip of a girl who had sex on stream. Okay, this is getting a little confusing. So let's 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 back it up again. So that's context piece one. Context piece two. There is a girl. I don't know if I can even show this. I don't. Even, I feel like I can't show this. Up. Oh, okay. All right. There it is. Up. Oh, okay. There was a girl who was on stream, and it and it looked like this, right? It looked like it was her, and it was her. She was like this, right? And, and it looked like you know she could just be talking, like, hey guys. But if you spend a couple of seconds on a website that starts with P and ends with B, you might realize that she wasn't bouncing because she was grooving along to a song, but because someone was having sex with her from behind while she was streaming. 
That, that's a real thing that happened on Twitch.tv. Now, that's not a unique thing. This happens a surprising amount on Twitch. There are a lot of women who, who even multi-stream from Chatterbait. To I've literally seen, like, porns like this that I certainly didn't search. To Twitch. And it'll be like, you know, uh, w waist up, all business, fun. Hey, I'm just streaming here. Waist down, go to my Chatterbait. Uh-oh, I'm a little naughty. And it's like... It, get, it baits people into spending money for porn where it, otherwise they would not have to pay. It's basically the thing. Uh, and, and so that, that, that's, that's a thing. Uh, and so this is not a new thing, but, but this person was having sex on Twitch, and she got banned. She got banned. And as Gideon quite um, emphatically pointed out, she got banned for seven days. Just seven days. Now, I've never been banned uh, for my time on Twitch, but seven days? Pretty exactly, motherfucker. You don't know. Ban chatters and ban streamers rise up. Pretty short for having sex Golden on Golden boy. Stream, which is very clearly against terms of service. There are people like Amaranth and Indie Fox back in the day who would skirt the terms of service of what wa was and was not allowed. You know, they were clearly always riding a line for like how promiscuous they could get so they could attract as many viewers as possible while not getting deplatformed by Twitch. This isn't that. This is just, this is they, they this is sex on stream. You can watch a clip if you want. It is it is blatant. You can see it through the reflection of the window. All right, it's not even subtle. Uh, so seven days, a little bit under, and it reignited Jadeon in his flame for why he got banned, and it also got. A lot of traction. I mean, you can see 231,000 views. He went on a whole entire rant on Twitter. Hashtag Twitch is sexist. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and then today made a video called Twitch Sexist and Favoritism. And he posted it on his main channel. Right, his main channel is generally known for like prank videos, things like that. He posted this on the main channel. It has 5.77 million subscribers. It is number two trending for gaming. Is number one trending earlier. It's getting it's getting a lot of heat behind it. So much that hashtag Twitch respond is trending on Twitter with forty one thousand tweets. I mean, you can see them Twitch in twenty twenty two, and it's like okay, that's okay. That's a that's a joke because Narcissa uh, tweeted that um, she was going to shoot the Twitch headquarters. Show the fucking image above it, coward. Got banned for a month for that, and is now back. Uh, and, and this person had sex on stream, got banned for a week for that. This person got banned for showing their full vagina, I believe, got banned for three days to a week, and then it's Jadeon, who cannot pass, because what did Bro, I swear to God, I can't tell if he's, like, farming for content, but, like, there were some ridiculous takes in that video. There's no fucking shot he's gonna agree that, like, which is literally sexist against men, I hope. Maybe this is a hot take, but nudity on stream is less bad than hate rating, in my opinion. Yeah, of course, dude. Of course. That's the point. That's Twitch's point. I made this point yesterday. Yeah, there's no fucking... There is no way Ludwig says, uh, like, showing straight vag is, uh, is significantly worse. Because, like, that's what this argument reduces to. For a lot of fucking... For a lot of dudes, it's the same exact argument we've seen... Over and over again on this platform with the hot tub meta, with all these different metas, which is, which is that, um, you know, which is sexist. Women get special priority, all the shit. Did he do, did a hate raid that has now been resolved. Um, but I want to be honest about something, okay? Because I do absolutely agree that Twitch is incredibly inconsistent with bans. All right, you can find threads on Reddit from 2015 that talk about this as a concern. They're notoriously bad at it. All right, they're notoriously bad because they are such a big bloated company, but few individuals hold so much power that I think if some person hates you at Twitch, they can keep you banned. All right, if they're high enough exec. Some person likes you at Twitch, they can make sure you don't get banned. If they're big enough at Twitch, it's how it works. And they're... What? The W community already think he's racist for what he said about them last year, specifically calling them the W community so that that bridge is kind of scorched for any future collabs. Only Bruce kind of likes them. Wait, really? I think Ludwig is too white. Like, I know him, obviously, very well. I love him. He's a very kind individual. He, he doesn't, he's not a race person at all, okay? But he literally looks like 
every racist person. Straight up. Like, it's just what it is. So I, I do understand why. I do understand why someone would immediately be like, wait a minute. He does. He is, he is like, you know, racist frat guy hair, dude. Gideon likes Ludwig. I can't speak for anyone else. And it's so, it can't be the furthest from the truth. Like, I mean, this man is not, he is not at all. Like, not, not at all. Not even remotely. Ludwig didn't show the tweet about Widion and Wasanabi. Yeah, I know. Because, you know, he's just fucked up. He looks like the caricature of every jock douchebag from a high school movie. I know, but that also, he does have finance bro face. Yes. Um, he does. Bro. I'm sorry, but if you saw Ludwig in a fucking skin-tight polo tee holding up a tiki torch, you wouldn't be like, wow, that's out of place, okay? Like, he just... He looks like he'd be leading the motherfuckers, okay? Look-wise, that juxtaposition also probably plays a good role in him being able to convert people to, to having good opinions. One of the kindest, nicest individuals I've ever met, okay? Straight up. Love him. All right, even though he doesn't hang out with me uh, all that much when I asked to, but it's fine. But he's named Ludwig, bro. His name is fucking Ludwig. He looks like a finance bro that played lacrosse in college. Okay? That's where it's coming from. It's like you have to avoid certain things as a bald guy. Okay? If you're a bald white guy, easy. Bald black guy, very cool. Bald white guy, is he racist? You have to avoid certain things. Ludwig can't be near tiki torches. Okay? You, you can't do it. Bald white guy, you can't wear Doc Martens. Sorry. It's out of the question for you. You can't do that. Ask Slime. I'm sure he would say it. He would admit it probably. There are certain things that are just off limits. You can't do it. Can't reach for the high shelf if you're a bald white guy. Can't do it. Who knows? Someone that might see you can't get Nordic tattoos if you're a bald white guy. Absolutely not. Can't do it. As a bald, I am excluded from Oakley's camo and combat boots. Yeah. Straight up. Are you saying bald white guys are more oppressed than, uh, oppressed than bald black guys? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Chatter, you got me. Their policies are so vague and live streaming is so new and so unique that they barely follow their own rules half the time. But clearly someone at Twitch does so not- So you disagree with stereotyping, but admit it's inside of everyone, whether they like it or not? Oh my God, here it is, bro. Here it is. This makes me want you to explain your take on stereotyping. Very interesting. I made a joke. You're trying to turn this into tribalism and how that justifies literal fucking Nazi behavior. What I was doing is what is called a joke, Okay. What you're doing now is taking that joke, ruining the fun for everybody else, and like literally trying to fucking make the same argument that Nazis do all the fucking time about how like tribalism is an intrinsic characteristic, and that's why being racist isn't wrong. Just curious. Shut the fuck up. Not like Gideon, okay? So, and it's unfair that he's been banned for so long when so many bigger fences have been banned for much shorter. Here's one thing I want to make a point of, though. I think Gideon is arguing in bad faith. I think he's very disingenuous about his effort to get unbanned. When he originally got banned, it's not like he was like, yo, my bad, I clearly broke terms of service. He went on rants on Twitter for weeks. He made fun of Pokemon on Twitter for weeks after. I had to hop on a call with him at some point. All right, I was off a gummy. He called me at like midnight and I was like, bro, you're being crazy. Like clearly what you did was wrong and, and you are too upset. A, he said he was off a gummy. <laughs> Yo, you can't. My man, I was off a gummy. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yo, this vitamin gummy be hitting different, okay? That's with trying to be right in your endeavor without admitting what you have done bad, right? And I think he continued to do that. Like, for example, he made this video just a month ago. Twitch banned me, so I snuck into TwitchCon. This is him going to TwitchCon EU. He even 
participated in a charity raffle where he got to talk with a Twitch associate and and then he pretended that he was some random person and that he was like, oh, you should really unban Jadeon to this random Twitch staffer because the raffle was to talk to a Twitch staffer. Are, are you a creator as well? Uh, no, 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 no. God, no. I'm yeah. just a viewer, man. I'm just a viewer. I was wondering, um, do you watch like a lot of streamers? I do. I mean, it's part of the job. Yeah. Someone I think that could get a lot of people interested in your service. Me personally, he was one of my favorites before he got sniped off the platform. But I don't know if you heard about Jadeon Premium. Is that you? In this call where he was pretending to be a random fan who was saying, please unban Jadeon, he had his username as Jadeon Premium. Nah, man, I'm just a viewer, bro. Well, that's your name in the lower left-hand corner. Oh, nah, nah. I'm just a, such a huge fan, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, of course. But like and that conversation proceeds I don't think that's to go real. nowhere. But it feels like he is simultaneously trying to have his cake and eat it, too. Where he's saying, Twitch is being unfair. Please unban me. Which I totally get. But then also skirting around in trying to go to TwitchCon EU cause a little bit of ruckus in the video he walks around and he and he and he just you know he's like ah, i got banned he's just trying to get kicked out for views and for content which which worked and it was entertaining and it's like jadeon's content i i like jadeon i do like the guy but i feel like if you are genuinely trying to get on banned you try to do the most to prove that you have changed but i think what he does is try to clown on twitch make full content of twitch never really apologize for anything and then also take the, the righteous high ground point of Twitch is sexist. Where I. He's right. You won't make a video like this if you like really the guy. Just no. You can be honest. I said similar things about Gideon. I said pretty much an exact same replica of this fucking argument that Ludwig came out a day later, for the record. However, uh, there was additional takes that I had where I dove in. Um, to a larger conversation about racism and moderation, all this other stuff. Um, but uh, I didn't also make it seem like up to the halfway point that, you know, Gideon was uh, uh, completely justified. And I also addressed the sexism stuff more. I, I don't know if he, ha I don't know why he hasn't yet. I just think that they probably don't appreciate how he has treated them because I think it's a bit disingenuous. Having said all that, Having said all that, I always side with the person versus the mega corporation. I don't give a fuck about the mega corporation, whether it's Twitch or, or YouTube or whoever. I always will side with the human because humans have much less power. They have much less resources. All right? So even if he's arguing in bad faith, Bullshit. I still think it's worth being on his side. Straight up. I don't think this is as analogous as Corey Kenshin in his ban from YouTube because Corey is like one of the... like most brand safe creators on YouTube, like really does absolutely nothing wrong except take breaks. And and then and then for whatever reason gets in trouble. Gideon is a troublemaker. He just is. That's it. And that's his content. That's why people love him. It's because he's willing to be a troublemaker where everyone else is a little uptight. Right? He's willing to get into a line for Tommy Innit, pretend to be a huge Tommy Innit fan. You know That's Cap. Ludwig would one hundred percent not be on the side. And this is not what Gideon did, but Ludwig would 100% not be on the side of someone who isn't just like a prankster, but like straight up racist. You know what I mean? If a straight up racist person gets banned and then they fucking come out and against Twitch, like Ludwig's not going to turn around and be like, oh yeah, I'm still on the side of the small person against the mega corporation. There are justifiable bans and there are unjustifiable bans. Gideon's original ban, or at least the duration, the, the permanent basis of that ban was... Across, uh, overboard overboard for sure i think that he could have he could have absolutely gotten he could have absolutely gotten unbanned eventually okay i don't think he took the necessary steps to get unbanned as ludwig also pointed out in this video and i think that the twitchcon eu uh move permanent like made it permanent that he's not going to get unbanned now now not only that, but also this video that he posted, the video that Gideon posted that I reacted to yesterday, which I'm surprised it hasn't been uh, posted yet. The the video that uh, I reacted to yesterday from Gideon hyper focuses for the most part on hyper focuses for the most part on like Twitch being sexist. 
against men, which is a laughable concept, and that men are are uh, fucked over by the Twitch terms of service because women are able to show titty, show pussy, and get unbanned. He even brought like uh, brought up a a uh, trans person, uh, a trans woman that was uh, that that had like that insane. Uh, that insane fucking take about like you know shooting up the Twitch headquarters or whatever, and uh, there was a lot of missing context in the arguments in the arguments that he had cultivated. But not only was there a lot of missing context, but also on top of that, it's just a bad argument overall. I I, I don't think that Twitch has uh, sexist policies that uh, help out women. Just like I also don't think that. Um, I also don't think that Twitch I itself is, um, that was some borderline red pill shit. Yeah. He's just like, he just using that as the wave, I, I think to make his video uh, pop up even pop off even harder. Um, you know, Twitch sometimes was banning guys for taking shirts off. Really? <clears throat> I mean, they're most likely... The thing is, Gideon isn't afraid of saying sorry correctly. That's why him and Pokemon are friends. So I don't know why he didn't get just get unbanned the right way. That's what I'm saying. Because he wanted to... I think he wanted to just make more content off of the ban instead. Maybe he didn't realize that, like, Twitch would 100% be like, oh, yeah, fuck that. No, it's over. Um, then what would you say about the arguments he made for Kyle Rage? Well, that's different. That's We're talking about racism. Um, I do think that all, uh, all big... Silicon Valley tech platforms, um, even if they're not like overtly racist, obviously, even if they're well-intentioned liberals in most circumstances, usually have a hard time uh, uh, with moderating black content creators and the extra negative hate botting and hate rating that black or other marginalized content creators receive. And a greater example that GDN could have used if he genuinely cared he was trying to make like a better argument would have been the the stop the hate raid campaign that happened on Twitch. Uh, if you recall a while ago where smaller black content creators and smaller marginalized LGBTQ content creators were getting hate raided and hate botted and targeted non fucking stop by by, uh, you know, awful uh, Nazis on the Internet off of like Discord and Discord servers and whatnot. And um, they did not actually uh they did not actually move uh, quick enough to to deal with it they had a really hard time originally so you know the the worst argument that he could have used he used but it's also the best argument he could have used for a bunch of fucking Andrew Tate fanboys okay you know to like half clown on Tommy half make content but then he has to also own that that's what he's doing it's not trying to be nice and trying to get along with everyone. It's never been his thing. Even though he is pretty good at getting along with people. Uh, so anyway, it's trending all over Twitter. Uh, and and it seems to not be slowing down at all. I think he even tweeted out yesterday. I can't find the tweet. I think he deleted it. That Twitch tried to remove the hashtag, which I fully believe they might have the power to do so. I could believe that. I will say on, on an ending anecdote, I remember one time on Twitch, I was watching media share videos trying to make me laugh donate a video if i laugh i lose whatever and one of the videos came up had like a bunch of cowboys slapping their ass bare nude mimicking the sound of like a motorcycle engine revving up really funny video i laughed instantly but you can't show a naked butt and so i was meant to get banned for three days however it was kind of like a, a homey move from a couple people at Twitch, they were like, hey, we went through, talked to some higher execs, you have a squeaky cream, uh, clean profile, I think I was a favorite back then, okay, people would say I was the golden boy of Twitch or whatever. Dog, he was always the favorite, what the fuck do you mean, Lud? This motherfucker running off with the awe, oh, I was not considered the favorite boy of Twitch, when he was, and he even was when he left, okay, calm down. And they didn't ban me, but I think... I know full well a bunch of other creators who did the same thing probably would get banned. And I think a much bigger problem to talk about is how Twitch, it feels like, ignores this new side, this new whole circle of content creation that is taking over their platform. I'm talking about the WL community. People like uh, Aiden Ross, 
Kai, um, uh, I'm Dante, like these, these really awesome creators who are bringing a whole new audience to the website, but aren't what you would think of as like traditional Twitch creators, people like Asmongold, XQC, and Mizkif, and people who also are Wow, no mention. I'm so washed, bro. Left out again. I'm never watching another Mogul Money again. Aren't as brand safe, and it feels like Twitch fails to highlight that community, which is a primarily black community and brought a whole new audience of viewers uh, who are completely different from the old viewers of Twitch. And, uh, and to me, that's a, that's a, also a huge issue, uh, that probably should be talked about a bit more. Why are they being ignored? I mean, they're literally some of the biggest creators on the website. 100%. Uh, so anyway, something to mull over.